Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a landing page using Google Sites. The first thing you want to do once on Google Sites as you can see right here is tap right where you see blank. After tapping on blank you'll be redirected to this page on which we can start editing or better yet creating our landing page. So the first thing you can do is add a title and let's say for this example, I'm creating a landing page for a health loss, health loss product. So I'll simply type in healthy eating right here for the title. And you can also change the font style if you want by tapping right where you see Lotto Light. So if you would like to use another font style, you can do that. And also, if you would like to change the size of the font, you can also do that right there. And you can make the font italic if you want, or you could make it bold if you want. Once you're finished doing that, you can also change the background image. So let's say I want to change the image. I would tap on change image. Then you are going to tap on upload. And from here, you'll be able to add an image. So let's say, for example, I want to use this image right here all I would have to do is tap on it and you can see right there that I now have a beautiful background banner as you can see there after doing that it is time to add some content to our new landing page so all we are going to do is go over to the left hand menu option and from here we can tap on content blocks and you can see the content block right here so you have a section to add video and you have a section to also add text. Keep in mind that if you only wanted to add text, you could simply tap on text box right here and you will have you will be able to add only text. Or if you wanted to add images only, you could select images. And also if you wanted to embed a video or so on, you could do that. And there are numerous other content blocks that you can choose from and I will go through each one with you. But for example, let's say we want to add a YouTube video. We would tap on the plus, then we are going to tap on YouTube. After you have tapped on YouTube, you can see right here, you can search for the particular video that you want. As you can see, type your search in. So let's say I want to find a video on weight loss. So I'll simply type in weight loss. Then we're going to tap on search. And the reason why you have this easy access to YouTube is because remember that YouTube is owned by Google. And this is Google Sites that we are using. So hence why it is so easy to access any Google feature. So you could embed a video just like that. Then from here, you could add your text. And you could see, you could type in, for example, watch this video. For example, watch this video and see results and see clients results. And then I could edit the text right here. So let's edit the text and you can see it right there. And also if I wanted to add a button, I could do that, but I would add the button right there. So let's say I want to add another content block or it, I would like to add some images. All I would have to do is tap on images right here. But better yet, if you wanted to add a slide, a slideshow, you could do that. All you'll have to do is scroll down. Then from here, all you have to do is tap on slides. After you have tapped on slides, you will see this option pop up. And if you have used Google Slides in the past, you would see your information right there. But at the moment, I'm going to show you how to add regular images. So you'll simply scroll back up, then tap on images, then you're going to tap on upload. After you have tapped on upload, you could select the image that you would like to use. So let's say, for example, these two images, then I'll tap on open, and you can see the two images right here. And also, if you would like to make the images clickable, you can do that. All you have to do is highlight the image. Then you'll tap on the link right here that says insert link. And from there, you could add your link. 
Again, all you have to do is tap on the image, then you'll tap on insert link. And let's say I want to put a call to action button right below this. So all I would have to do again is go over to the right hand corner. Then from here, you are going to see button. You are going to simply tap right where you see the button. Then from here, you could type in the button text. So let's say buy now. I could type in buy now just for example sake. Then after you have typed in buy now, you could add the link right here. So let's say I just, I'm just going to add a random link. So for example, let's say I add ESPN link right here. Again, this is just a random example. You would add your offer link right here in a random link. And by the way, if you are looking for a nice marketplace to find numerous affiliate offers that you can promote, you could check out Digistore24 as they have numerous digital products and so on that you can promote and get a good commission as you can see right here. But this is just for example sake. So I'll tap on insert. After I've inserted it, I can move the button to whichever position I want it on the page as you can see right here. And once it is in position, you can also edit the color and so on by simply tapping on the button. Then from there, you can tap on the pencil if you would like to edit it, if you would like to make any changes. And also you could tap on filled and from there you could change the button style. So if you would like to change it to outline, you could do that. If you would like to change it to text only, you could do that as you can see right here. And you can also change the alignment. So if you would like to move it to the left or right, you can also do that. And keep in mind that going over to the left hand menu option, if you would like to change the color, you can tap on section colors. So if you would like to add color, you can do that as you can see right here. I could add a color to the background as you can see to make it stand out. Or if I would like to add an image, I can also do that. So let's say I want to add an image to the background right here. All I would have to do is tap on upload again. Then from here, I could select a random image. So let's say, for example, I want to use this image just for example sake again. You can see the image in the background right there. And once you're finished and it is to your liking, if you would like to add more pages, but keep in mind that a landing page is normally one single page. So once you're finished with all of your editing and it is to your liking, all you would have to do now, if you would like to add any social links, you can do that by simply tapping on social link right here. And after doing that, you could add your Instagram, you can add TikTok or whichever link you want right there. And also you can see that you can use a spacer or a divider. If you want to add more sections to your pages, you can do that. And also, if you would like to use the image carousel, you can do that. That is simply like the slideshow. You could set it up just like that. And if you would like to embed a video, all you have to do is tap on embed. And then from there, you could add the URL or you could select embed code. So let's say, for example, I want to add a YouTube video right here. All I would have to do is go onto YouTube. And let's say, for example, I want to add this video. All I would have to do is tap on the three dots. Then from here, you're going to see share. You would tap on share. Then you'll simply tap on embed. Then you'll tap on copy. Once you have copied it, you're going to go back into Google Sites. Then you're going to tap on embed code. And you're going to paste the code right here. Then you'll tap on next. And you will see an example of how the video looks right here. After you have done that, you are going to tap on insert. And you can see that the video has been added right here. And if you would like to change the spacing, if you would like to make the video broader, you can do that the thumbnail. All you have to do is simply tap and drag it as you can see right there. And once everything is to your liking, all you have to do now is tap on publish in the top right hand corner. After tapping on publish from here, you can choose your custom name. Or if you would like to add a custom domain name, you can do that. So let's say, for example, I just want this to be called test. 
you can see that test is taken already so that is taken already also and you can see right here this will be your new website URL as you can see right here so whatever you type in the web address box that will simply be added at the end then you are going to tap on publish and from now on you'll be able to start sharing your landing page on social media or so on hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.